What's up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night, and I apologise that I haven't posted anything for a couple of weeks. I've been pretty ill, I lost my voice and all that kind of stuff, but I am back and I have for you my favourite apps of June 2017. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. First on this list we have my new favourite Zooper theme which is called PixUp, and as the name would suggest, this is a kind of Pixel, Android N kind of inspired look. This will fit really nicely with stock Android if you're running on a Pixel, if not then it will work really nicely on pretty much any modern Android phone. It adheres really well to material design and it's a fantastic combination of these really stylized widgets and these more card like widgets which fit really well with the kind of Google Now aesthetic. If you're looking for a new Zooper pack to inject some flair into your home screen then this is definitely one that you should try out. I love a well designed app and Today Weather is one of my new favourite weather apps. This actually plugs into Dark Sky, which is my favourite weather service provider. It's incredibly accurate and it can tell you if it's going to be raining in the next couple of minutes. As I said, it's a beautifully designed application, it's full screen and looks really lovely on an AMOLED screen. As well as looking beautiful, this gives you loads of different information, it gives you your temperatures, your precipitation, it will tell you the chance of rain over the next couple of hours with this nice little graph. It's also got an air quality index, which is really useful if you've got asthma or anything like that. It will also tell you when the sun is going to rise and set, the phases of the moon, your wind speed and it also has a radar. In order to unlock the radar capability you do need to go pro, but if you're looking for an app which is essentially a reskinned version of Dark Sky then Today Weather might be for you. Next up we have Boost for Reddit and this is my favourite Reddit client of all time. I used to use Bacon Reader but this is now my favourite. It's just the cleanest, it's perfect material design and it's really really smooth to use. Unfortunately since I recorded this it's actually been taken off the Play Store, you can go to the link in the description to still download it. The reason it was taken off the Play Store is something to do with pornography on Reddit I think which is obviously not the fault of the application itself but if you do want an app which is a really beautiful way to browse through Reddit then Boost is highly highly recommended. Next up we have a game called Card Thief and I don't normally like these kind of solitaire games but there's something about the graphical style and general aesthetic that makes this really compelling. You're a thief and you have to move around avoiding guards and collecting treasure. The way you do this is using stealth points. The mechanics are a little bit complicated to start with but it gets very addictive very quickly and it's one of those games that's really good just to play if you're waiting for a bus or if you've got 5 minutes off or anything like that. Next on this list we have Meteor which is a speed testing app. This isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but if you do need to test your internet speeds then Meteor is one of your best options. Not only does it look really really nice, and I say that having looked at a lot of speed testing apps, most of which look like garbage, but it also allows you to test the performance of specific apps on your phone so you can see how well Facebook is running or Twitter or any other app that connects to the internet. It also works really well if you want to compare internet speeds at different locations, so if you do need a speed testing app, Meteor is one that you should definitely try out. Phoenix has long been one of my favourite Twitter applications and Phoenix 2 looks like it is shaping up to be a fantastic app in its own right. It's one of the simplest looking and easiest to use Twitter apps on the Play Store today. And even though it's in beta it's incredibly smooth and incredibly fast. The user interface is very familiar but it works really nicely and it's got some really nice touches like the ability to automatically add a hashtag or an at key with just a press. It has full GIF support as well as media support. And if you are looking for a new Twitter app, then Phoenix 2 may very well be for you. If you're feeling a little bit stressed, then do not worry because I have an app which will help you relax. And this app is called Pacifica. I've used a bunch of different meditation and sort of lifestyle apps on the Play Store just to see how well they work and if they can actually positively impact your life. There's a few out there that do work and Pacifica is one of them. This combines loads of different features to give you one app which is crowned with loads of positivity. The main thing that it revolves around is your hope board. Essentially you get your goals and your dreams and you put them into the application and you can see them every day. It also has a lot of guided meditation as well as lots of exercises which are essentially CBT. And if you don't know what CBT is, it's Cognitive Behavioural Therapy. It is one of the best ways to treat depression and a whole roster of mental illnesses without medication. It's scientifically proven to work and I can vouch for it, it definitely does work. So if you are feeling stressed, a little bit depressed, a little bit overwhelmed, Pacifica could definitely help you unwind. This list would not be complete without my favourite icon pack of the month. And this month's favourite icon pack is called Halo. It's a really neat, modern, bright icon pack and it has some kind of retro vibes at the same time and it manages to achieve this retro look whilst also looking fresh and clean. It's really quite impressive. 
It works especially well if you use matte style wallpapers. It also comes with a bunch of wallpapers of its own and the developer is really responsive if you want to get a specific application themed that isn't currently themed. So there you are guys, those are my favourite apps of June 2017. As I said at the start of the video, I've been really ill for the last couple of weeks. Um, I had like cold sores and stuff so I couldn't really eat, my tongue was all swollen and gross. Um, you can probably tell from my voice, it hasn't completely gone yet. I've still kind of got it on my tonsils and I'm feeling a little bit drained and stuff like that. If you've watched this far in the video, thank you very much for watching and for your support. Comment below what your favourite flavour of ice cream is. I'm always excited to know, especially as I have pretty much just been able to eat ice cream and yoghurt for the last couple of weeks. But anyway, I'm now rambling because I haven't spoken to you guys for a long time. But I am back, rest assured, I'm not dead or anything like that. So thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on all my social media and whatnots with the links in the description. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.